Frog groups are assembling off site, ready to come in soon. Conflict shall be coming. We come here with a message hey, for Donald up, Trump, man? and we come here with a message to the come world. On, from... Donald Trump, there are people out there who opposed you every step of the way. They wanted Hillary as president over you, and yet now you are doing their bidding. You are about to engage in their insane, stupid wars. You are about to destroy your presidency over what? Over what? Destroyed. Over the, over so what? You, so you, you, wanted wanted the wars. you wanted the bombing six months earlier. I did right? not want any bombing. What so you bombings wanted, did you I want? Right? I never yeah. wanted any bombings. Right. I thought that Obama was wrong yeah. too. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? I can agree with you there. <laughs> Can you agree with us there, then? Yeah. No, We're because totally you're fascist. We don't stand on your side. This asshole already said he was a Nazi, so don't even try that crap, <laughs> man. No, I do not stand with you. You can't stand for 45 minutes. They are <laughs> I'm standing with you now. Look at you. You can't stand without a mask on your face, son. He's not a Daryl. We have our connection. Nice Daryl. Then my connection keeps being weak. Don't let them destroy your presidency. Don't let them destroy the it's world. It's been done. There's not enough room on that phone with all that porn. In this video. Yeah, Daryl. No, I gave it off to Dick Spencer here, who's messing around with Teal of Achilles. That's really hilarious. Sorry. So what's your crap? This is pro war. Yo, know, let's talk These about people yeah, want to hear you. Yo, we're done. Get rid of that. Here we go. Back off. We're going to have to just accept the fact that you want to be. If you, if you want to see some terrible Come pictures on. from around the world, I can show you. Your hands are shaking. Your hands are shaking. What's the matter? My hands ain't shaking. My hands ain't shaking. Oh, wait. Yeah. 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 Let him speak. If you want to see pictures from around the world, I can show you. I can show you pictures of starving children. The fact is, the world is a is a dangerous place. We cannot engage in insane neocon wars in order to rescue every child who is suffering. We cannot engage in foreign policy and risk and risk. A world war because Ivanka feels like she, her heart bleeds. That's close enough. We need to have peaceful relations with other countries. That includes the rightful leader of Syria, who is Bashar al-Assad. He is a secular person, a person of strength and stability. He might not be perfect, but the world isn't perfect, and we should have peaceful, reasonable, mutually beneficial relations that will be with everyone you. in Syria. We should have peaceful, mutually Sorry, beneficial who? relations that will be with without Russia. You. We should not engage in a proxy war with Russia. Dude, we've got to go home. You got back up. You're the one being aggressive, dude. Go home. You got back up. Let Richard speak. They can talk all he wants, but so can we. We are this, this rally was sponsored by the alt right. Opposed to ISIS. But this rally is open to anyone. Anyone who war. genuinely wants but you love peace fascism. and diplomacy you love Nazism. in the world, oh, we love let him speak. Let him speak. He can speak all the hell he, 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 he wants. Go ahead. But I do too. Is, you got it? Is, we have <laughs> nationalism is about sick and trying to shit you ever done and hating people we never met. But we are willing to work with any reasonable no, person who wants peace. No, I'm not. Why was Donald Trump elected? Why was he elected? Was he elected for Jared Kushner? No, he was elected no. because he, he's elected no. because the Democrats was he elected for Ivanka Fields? No. 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 Was he elected for the third fucking term of George W. Bush? No. No. Donald Trump was elected to end all that crap. 
Donald Trump was elected because they had a shitty candidate Donald on the Trump other side. Donald Trump was elected as a populist. He was elected <laughs> Donald as a Trump was a billionaire. How the hell could he be a populist? He was elected as a reasonable man who was going to bring peace. That was one of the oh, primary yeah, that worked reasons. Out so well. Donald Trump made very specific point. promises. He <laughs> said, no more Iraq. No more. He said, no more Libya. He said no Syria in 2013. He defiantly and unambiguously said, fix America, don't get in a war with Syria. That's what we voted for. We don't want that. Not all of us. We don't want that. I actually think there are, I think there are actually a lot of genuine liberals and leftists who might not have voted for Donald Trump. And would never but they agreed when, with Donald Trump when he okay. said, fix America. America, and we'll no fight them just Syria. as hard as they fight Donald Trump. That's what millions of people voted for Donald Trump for. They did not vote for another insane war. And nobody wants you. What, is, what does Iraq look like in 2002? Yeah, it had a dictator. It was not perfect. What does it look like now? It's fucking chaos. What does Libya look like in 2010? Again. Not a perfect society by any stretch of the imagination. What does Libya look like now? It's a goddamn failed state. So was not Germany. Can we Germany. ever learn you anything? You know, the state that you love so much. Can we not look back so at the history, Italy. recent history, and draw reasonable oh, conclusions? And draw reasonable in conclusions that regime change, that democratization, that Americanization around the world doesn't work. It fails. It makes the societies worse. Why are we going to do it again? Trillions of dollars. How much? What did we? What did they tell us before Iraq? What did they tell us before Iraq? Oh, we're going to make money on this deal. We're going to pay for it with the oil. The, Ira the Iraqis are going to greet us as liberators. Did any of that happen? No, I did. No, it did. Did any of that happen? No, sir. No, sir. What do we think is going to happen in Syria? In the first war. In the first world war, it did. As a matter of fact, they wanted to repay the soldiers. Here comes the pro war. Here comes the pro war left. Here they come. It's the pro war left. It's the pro war left. Yes, it's left. It's leftist for Israel. It's leftist for war. It's leftist for war.
Is that better? Can you guys hear me? You're fucking war criminals, Nazis! Antifa and Richard Spencer's crew with the short haircut squaring off in front of the White House. Make America great 
gun chat was much better. We don't need protection. Nazi snowflakes. Nazi snowflakes. Nazi snowflakes. Nazi snowflakes. Don't want to show their faces. Masked, covering their eyes when I walk by. What you looking at? What you looking at? What you looking at? Come over here and do some shit. We want jobs, not war. We want war, 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 not war. The irony of all anti-fascist protesting and anti-war demonstration by the alt-right pacifists. Strange days today. Anti-fascist, pro-war left. Richard Spencer gets what he wants. Lots of attention. Cassandra Fairbanks on the scene now. Do you support bombing Syria? Do you support bombing Syria? Do you support bombing Syria? Do you condemn hate? Are you anti-white? 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 Anti-white! 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 Cops have everything under control. They're standing in the middle.
You really can smell the body water, all body odor from the unwashed masses of Antifa. Why do they have their faces covered? Sniper on the roof of the White House, backdrop by the Washington Monument. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Supremacy! 
Chanting trust for Nazi in regards to Spencer. That's pretty solid. Spencer now attempting to address Donald Trump directly. I gotta admit, trust fund Nazi is pretty funny. Indeed, many of us, including myself, voted for you as the peace candidate. We voted for you because we thought Hillary was going to engage in military actions like the one Cassandra you Fairbanks. committed. We voted for you because we thought you would prevent war. We voted for you because we thought you understood what just happened. How's the volume, guys? We learned lessons from history. That's why we supported you. So what the hell are you doing? Are you going to allow the neocons, neocons who attempted to ruin your candidacy, are you going to allow them to drag us into another war? They're calling for violence as usual, that's their MO. What do you deny you're calling for violence? This basically all this is a tough one for me, Richard Spencer and I am not friends, but uh, when you got this group versus that group, I know where I stand. Jack Murphy reporting live on the scene here at Lafayette Park, right in front of the White House. <laughs> Cops getting a little agitated as people push up and then back off. Everything, 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 everything,
to join them in a chant of fuck the war. But they won't. They, they won't. <laughs> Richard Spencer getting everything he wants. Yeah, this guy right here is a reporter for somebody. Who are you guys with? Uh, Jaylee Collar. Jaylee Collar, what's yeah. your name? Ted Goodman. Ted Goodman, how you doing? Jack Murphy. Yeah, Ted. Ted. Goodman here. Oh. Right, Ted Goodman, we're live. We've got a thousand people in Paris. Pretty soon we'll get you to do this. Great. Lots of people, what do you, what do you make of all this? Uh, so this is interesting, right? You have uh, the self-described alt-right out here uh, protesting American intervention in Syria. And when that announcement was made, uh, Antifa announced that they would be out here as well and to in turn protest uh, the members of the self-described alt-right. Um, what I've noticed is both sides have been a little bit averse to speaking with the media, right? Um, well, even when we first got here, we're, we're streaming live on the Facebook, uh, our Facebook page. We were immediately attacked, right? You know, we're out here to, as members of the press, um, but also on both sides, a lot of aversion speaking with us. Have you experienced similar? Well, I've tried to ask people why do they have their uh, their faces covered and nobody. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, that would be an excellent answer, you know. I like Richard's approach to trying to get them to join in uh, a channel of fuck the war. How can I do that? Yeah, so that was interesting. I saw some Twitter comments too where members of Antifa were nervous about coming out here and doing this because they didn't want, you know, this to become as if they were here like supporting American intervention in Syria. Right. But uh, yeah, if you're nervous. like one big troll by Richard Spencer, isn't it? Yeah, I would say so. One big, one big what? One big troll by Richard Spencer. Uh, it would seem that's a part of this, right? He, he's getting them going. He's, he's doing exactly that. And you have a lot of these masks in that, and that, that's interesting to me, right? I guess it sends us, you know, it makes them appear a little more intimidating, right? Um, or they're planning to commit crimes and don't want to be identified. Wow, so you're willing to go there. Um, but, I, I mean, that has to be yeah, the, the fact that they don't want to be identified, and they're not willing to talk to us. At the same time, they're out here voicing their views in that, which, and this is America, right? We, we, uh, we appreciate that. And this, this is the epitome of America, when you can have alternative opinions out here. However, hiding your face in that, Daily caller on the scene here.
Lafayette Square, Washington, D.C., Saturday night. There's probably uh, 20, 30 or so people here from Richard Spencer's group and another 20 or 30 or so people here from the anti-fit people. Nothing much to do anymore at this point. People just standing in front of each other and yelling. It seems like Richard Spencer is getting exactly what he wants from this, which is a lot more of attention. He always knows ways to get... He always knows ways... Oh, hold on. It's like we have our first arrest, potentially. Yes, sir. I just got pushed out of the way. I'm moving, no problem. Have a nice night in jail. Cops on the scene. New Vanguard trying to push in on Spencer's team here. Lots of tight fades on the side of Richard Spencer. Uh, 
Man, the day we call it right here. Catching wind of this, Antifa, the anti-fascist group, uh, made their way over here and are in turn protesting. Uh, oh, right. You know what? This is what the was. Oh, some shit going down. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Go, go, go! Go home! Go home! No room for Nazis! Can we get it off here? Up here, up here. Somebody. No room for Nazis! 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 That looks like it. <laughs> Mike Enoch identified in the crowd. <laughs> People calling Daily Caller white supremacists when they got an Asian guy on the mic. Is that the face of a white supremacist? Cops are clearing this out. <laughs> Somebody just pointed to one of these Antifa guys and said that they conspired uh, to gas the deplorable. Don't know if that one's true or not. Cops are pushing everybody out of the park. Is this is an after dark thing, sir. No. No. Uh, the park's closed after dark, pushing everybody to 17th Street. Lucian Wintrance on the scene. Lucian, how you doing? Good, good. Live on Periscope, so I've got a thousand people here. So I'm going to meet this. Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy. Yeah, good to see you. How you doing? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm doing all right. I was, uh, I'm unpacking an apartment right now, but I was dragged down here. Yeah, not a bad thing to do. Say it again. Not a bad thing for Saturday night, a little action. Yeah, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a lead up to, uh, Hopefully, very fun Saturday evening. Oh yeah, what's next after this? Well, after this, I'm meeting uh, friends from college uh, who I haven't seen in ages. I'm uh, also meeting uh, black gay Republican friends of mine who work at uh, log cabin Republicans. So that should be fun. 
Um, nice mix. Yeah, right? You got, you got to diversify everything you do. Absolutely. Uh, well, congratulations on the new post. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good to meet you, Jack Murphy. Nice to meet you, Jack. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sign off for now. Looks like everything's pretty much chilled out. A lot of uh, new media folks are on. Oh, there's Cassandra Fairbanks right in front of me. Richard Spencer, Lucian, guys from the Daily Caller. All right, everybody. Anything else you guys want to see? All right, y'all. Thanks a lot. If I can get some good interviews later, I'll be back on. Thanks.